Well, we are in Los Angeles, and um, the finale is on Wednesday night, and they'll be showing the final five or so that are left, and um, getting down to final three. Then there'll be a live reunion show for an hour, and we'll be all hanging out on stage, and family and friends will be in the audience, and uh, we'll have a good time. I sent in a video, um, summer of 2016 or so, got a call late November, went to a finals week in January, I spent a week in Los Angeles in a hotel, and basically then we would go down and see other potential contestants in a big dining hall, but we weren't allowed to talk to them. And then um, we had interviews with the casting director, Lynn, and then from there, if we were picked, we went to meetings with Jeff, the host, and uh, with other executives of CBS. And then from there, we did psych evals, medical evals, you name it to get ready to make sure you could potentially be on the show. Then I went home, had about two weeks, got a call that I was definitely going to Fiji. I was like, yeah. And uh, late March, uh, headed to Fiji for 45 days. I think the biggest piece about that game is you can strategize all you want. And I've watched a lot of the shows from before, but I think the most biggest thing is being present with what's going on around you and just trying to stay calm. Because there's a lot of chaos that happens. <laughs> When you show up for an actual challenge on Survivor, you have no idea what it is, you have not prepared days and months and years for it, and you don't get to practice the things you made mistakes on before and then make it better. So you're just showing up, taking in what it is, and then going and doing that challenge. Then the next challenge is something different. Even like the producers had said, is that sometimes you, know, you can take the same exact cast, play the same exact game, and be a totally different outcome. So there's, there's so many factors that go into it, who gets the idols, what happens, to determine what who wins. You can't like go train and study it and visualize it, and imagine it, and make it all happen. It's like, like you can to like dream about making the Olympic team, let's say. So many years I trained so hard, strove, you know, strive to become great at things. And I know what that's like. I know how to do that. I know how to test limits. And I think really the biggest gift I got out of being on the show was being able to embrace the people coming off after me. Some people really have a hard time with it. And I really was able to embrace them, connect with them. And we really, that was really my true tribe of the game. And we had a lot of fun.